Hello and welcome to this week's episode on the heat pump. My name is Artwell, if you don't know, uh, we've just recently fitted an air source heat pump at our house and just an update on how we are getting on and how all is working at the minute. So it's been 10 days now since we last had um, the heat pump installed and the weather has been up and down. Today is lovely, so I thought I'd start the video by just coming out. Our house is the second one there. So just to show you really to start outside, then we'll go inside and update you. So here we go. So as you can see, this is the view of where the heat pump is. I don't know if you can see it now as we walk towards the house, the heat pump is over there. So I know I need to answer some of the questions that have been raised regarding the location of the heat pump, but this is how our estate is. You know, this part of the road is private, so no one really should be walking towards here unless you are associated with the four houses here. So it's really, I'll address some of the the rubbish runs that we were getting but now just to update you there is the heat pump it's there and it's currently on don't know if you can hear it that's the sound it's making at the minute so yeah we hardly really get anyone come this way there's a path right at the top end you know the view of the house is not that bad but as you know, there are keyboard, keyboard warriors out there that have an opinion on other people's things. But anyway, here we go. Inside, I'll go inside now. The temperature today has been down a bit, but inside it's currently showing. Again, it's... Hello. What are you doing? I'm filming. Outside. Yeah, I was outside. I'm now back in. Why? <laughs> right. Let me just turn on the light. So, yes, before anyone, I will sort this out. I will absolutely sort that out. No worries. Currently showing at 22.5. And the radiators are warm. There's nothing to worry about. They are warm. The temperature is comfortable we are all comfortable in the minute and i'll show you the, the fly the fly don't worry about the fly sir this is the area where it is we have sorted out everything and it's all laid up nicely the paperwork is up there we are showing at 23 in here and 35 on the radiators 1.4 so 42 the water is 42 degrees so all is working fine we are warm, the radiators are warm, all of them are warm really, you know, and they're keeping the house warm, they're keeping the house as warm as it can be. It's almost 8 o'clock now, so we are warmish and all is good, I can see. I'm now sweating, so that's how warm it is. Anyway, I'll go into office and, and um, explain more details, really. So, yeah, I'll just go out into the office and talk more. About where we are. Right. So, just to let you know, um how the heat pump is, is working at the minute. Um, all is good, we are comfortable, we are warm, and there's nothing to worry about. The water is being um, doing good. We have water when we need it. It's hot, actually it's 42, roughly around 42 degrees. So it's really, really comfortable. The house is comfortable, the app is easy to use. So the only thing I'm just trying to see is whether the, um, have is as we want it because i think it overrides whatever you're trying to do so if i'm trying to heat the house quicker it doesn't really work when the temperature outside is 
you know, not on the curve. So currently, yesterday, I did receive an email from um, Octopus regarding the heat pump and they were welcoming us and all that. So that was a good 10 days after they installed it. Um, so on the email, it goes through how you can set it up as well in terms of setting it up on the Octopus app. So you can use that information and set it up. You can click the, I'll show you the email and I'll show you on the app as well how it appears. So let me show you that now. Right, there is the email that came in. So you can see there's a, a link there to say um, heat pump controller and the website is straightforward really. You click on it, it goes straight to your account and you do what you need to do on your account as usual. You sign in and you are in onto your account there. And there is the heat pump. Because I've done it already, there is the heat pump. The water is at 42 degrees. The heating is at 22.7. So as you saw inside it was 22.5, upstairs are saying 23. So there's a 0.5 degree out on the, on the, and the target is that. So the target is at 22, it should be 22, but the home, the house is a bit warmer. So this is where you can find it on the Octopus app. So they sent that, ev they sent everything to me yesterday and I logged on and it's all there. But just to come to another topic. So instead of using that app, I'll just go through the app with you as well. Um, the decking app, the decking app is this one here. So in here, again, it matches what is being shown on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I can see the temperature. So on the decking app, it's showing again 22.7 as the Octopus app is as well. Um, heating is set to go to 22 in the evenings until nine o'clock, I believe. So you can click on that, there it is. It's set like that. So it's easy to use schedule. You can get your schedules here. It shows the timeline, there it is, the timeline. So it's at 22 now, then come 10 o'clock, it comes down to 19. Because yesterday I kept on playing with this, with the schedule so that I am comfortable with the heating that is coming into the house and all that. So I keep on changing to 18 to 19, 18, depending on how we are feeling the following morning. So you can come back out of that, then go to insight. It shows you what the heat pump has used in April. So it's showing 129 kilowatts, 71 for climate control and 58 for the, for the water. I am, I'm using, I'm heating the water up in the morning during the cheaper tariffs. And after the installation, what I did, I, I registered the heat pump in the website and registered the, and it comes in straight away on there. They give you your details, the warranty. Have a look at that. There's a five year warranty on the decking up, um, on the heat pump. You, you can't you can't fault that and you can click on that as well it will show you your and when it expires there's on labor uh, 12 until 2029 um, on parts 12 April and 2029 you know these are good good things to have and the five year warranty which is free as well with your heat pump so just by registering you get you get that free five-year warranty so you can also extend it for another two years another for it says click here to extend the warrant I don't think I can I think it's at, at, at its maximum so that's how you know you can get that then shout out to a colleague at work introduced me to this app called OctoAid it only works on uh, it only works on iOS this app only works on iOS and it's an amazing app definitely an amazing app I'll show you the app in a minute but it's called OctoAid and I'll put the link in the video do visit if you are an 
iOS user use this app it gives you all the information you want to know in terms of what you are using in your household as long as you are an octopus customer there is a way to 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 join this app and to use and it will show you all your your usage what you are using and how much it costs you what deal you are on what tariff you are using and all that so i'll just show you that right there is the the app there right this is the information it has every time you open you do that it gives you a joke so people are usually shocked that i have a police record but i love their greatest hits yeah every time you open it you know a guy called andy is the one that so there is um, the data so it shows our off-peak usage and our on-peak usage as well and it also shows you live live information and how much roughly you know that's what we're using currently which is 56p an hour and it's up like that it gives you more information so today we've used eight pound 17 i did charge the car we've used 63 i did charge the car this morning so last thursday we used six pounds and today we're using six uh, eight pounds it gives you all this information you know the forecast all the information you want is available on this app it's a genius genius app like that so it shows you the off peak and the on peak what you are using you know you can set up this in a billing month or custom date it and use the dates that you want like that you know and it's awesome so there it will change the dates to our custom dates so currently this month we are using 146 my billing is on the 12th until the um 11th of the following month so so far we've used 146 bear in mind this involves it also includes our our two cars that we charge every almost every night really still a bit cold at the minute we charge our two evs so that's what we have used so i don't have any any gas anymore although if you look on here it still has a bit of my gas that i used um last month there there's one i think a couple of days that i used it's a it's an amazing app so yeah this is where we are with the heat pump so the heat pump is working fine and we are tweaking it as we go along to see how we can you know save on electricity so now now that i've got this app i can now monitor and try and see if I need to reduce the usage of the the heat pump what we are using you know and which the off peak or on peak which one to use so the app is an amazing app and one i'll recommend octo aid i'll put the link below and please do subscribe or subscribe to the channel for to follow the the journey on how we're getting on with the heat pump so far so good we're not complaining we get everything we need you know i'll come back to answer the the runs the keyboard warriors in the later episodes when i've got more information but at the meantime you know from now on we are i'll do the comparisons of my energy usage but one thing for sure i, I haven't got any gas anymore so some of that money can go into my electric bill and we still do charge our two evs so do take care and i will see you on the next video I'm also doing another video for the Mustang Mark E. I'm having issues on that side. So do subscribe to the channel to find out more information on what's happening and follow the channel. See you on the next one. Bye.